Oh, welcome everybody. You're here with Garden Gnomes, etc. We just finished up having a 65 degree day. Probably just, it was a couple days ago. And we jumped right into a 14 inch blizzard. Uh, actually, we were only supposed to get a couple inches, but the weather was off a little bit. But one of the things that I like to do here for uh, Garden Gnomes, etc. is these display gardens. And one of the cool things that we have, and actually for the 45 years that I've been doing this, uh, water gardening, I think the most awesome thing and spectacular thing for a, a landscape is the waterfall. And uh, with that in mind, we're going to kind of jump right into this. One of the things that I do have is the different display gardens for the Universal Rocks. Right now, we just have a few going. All the, the color falls and the different waterfalls have been shut down, the rain chains. All the gnomes headed inside, uh, the foggers, and a majority of the lights. But this one here is uh, one of the cave falls, uh, also known as the Maldives. It's quite a difference between uh, being used for a swimming pool. But here you can see some of the ice forming, the snow. And these things are just absolutely gorgeous for winter. And sometimes that's a little bit... Um, sometimes uh, the water gardens, for a lot of people, they shut it down in the fall and don't take advantage of these real cool creations. So we're gonna get going and we're gonna show you just a couple more of these. Like I said, we're gonna go through <laughs> 14 inches of snow here, which it was a wet snow, so it kinda uh, melted a little or compacted. The next one is gonna be our corner waterfalls. It's uh, the large. And this is what you guys can get if you're really into uh, waterfalls like I am. A lot of people are kind of passionate about certain things. That's entry level here at Garden Gnomes. I just go absolutely nuts for waterfalls. We have 31 of them. Of course, most of them are shut down. Uh, one of the things here, I try to keep them going if they have a large base. and You can keep them going for quite a while, especially if you're temperatures are in the 30s and maybe even in uh, the mid 20s you can keep them going for quite a while and this one here of course is the one that I like if you look on my website where you see all the different waterfalls and the ponds you get to see the different choices that you have that you have to build upon this one here has nine pieces the bubbling rocks of course have been shut down this one here just has the medium uh, pond with the large waterfall. There's a spillway pond with a medium waterfall along with the Garden Creek. And there's a, uh, I think it's a cascading pond, but the lighting has been taken off of those. I, <coughs> excuse me, I had those in the water. So everything that's been in the water, the foggers and the lights and so forth, um, have been taken out. So I'm trying to get uh, maybe another two to two weeks to a month more of this water gardening type of thing and this one here it, it, I try to get as much of the winter as I can because it is just spectacular to see the snow and the different lighting to go off the snow and the different cascading effects of the water and also the ice when it starts forming we got one more to hit upon I'll do a day version because there are three other ones that I have going but the lights been uh, taken away for the winter <laughs> this one here is the large um, large vertical falls along with the M the medium waterfall 008 which is also the beach comber so that's another kind of a different appearance you can see all the snow on it uh, I'm sure with the water or the pool people uh, it's a more of a warmer uh, thing this one here is strictly winter uh, waterfalls and I think actually a lot of people kind of miss out on this when they have waterfalls in their yard if they do have them everything's shut down early here again you can see all the cool snow uh, of course we got a couple of the lights that uh, kind of go through the different color changes so um, you can see how cool the waterfalls go and, and this is one thing that I that I absolutely just love to do is the, the waterfalls so um, 
This is just to give you guys some ideas on uh, winter waterfalls and, and to answer the questions on a lot of people. Do these uh, waterfalls stand up to cold? Absolutely. They, they're, uh, they work out really nice. The only thing that I might do is with this vertical waterfalls is I might shut it down once it gets too much ice because I don't want too much weight just the way I have it mounted. Some of these other ones like the different uh, garden waterfalls sometimes you want to use them for your pools and stuff. They're more of a sitting down where they're not mounted on something. So of course it, it takes more of the, the ice and the snow and uh, really don't cause any type of a problem. So uh, just wanted to leave you with some of these cool uh, waterfalls and what you can be doing in the winter time.